boardroom show, Icons of Foam, sponsored by U.S. Blanks. We have with us today Roger Hines of Roger Hines Surfboards. Roger was the head judge for this entire event, and I had the privilege of working alongside of him. Roger, I first want to say thank you like for having me on your judging oh, staff, yeah, and uh, I learned a ton like, working alongside of you. Very uh, but you know what I found uh, really, really interesting is the seriousness of your judging and then also the structure of your judging. So, you know, the integrity of the event and keeping that intact. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, when Pat first reached out to me to, to see if I was interested in judging this thing, I said, absolutely, because some of uh, the judging on this, some, some of the shape-offs have been ran kind of fast and loose, mm -hmm. and some of them have been really, really tight, and really connecting the dots. So I just kind of made a format of, okay, these are bullet points. I, Measure here, measure here, measure here. How does the rail feel? We didn't need a rocker bar unless the boards were so close. Mm -hmm. Then that's gonna be the end result. How the, the rail feels at the tail. These boards had a lot of moving parts. The big gun had a pretty deep single with double inside that. Yeah. And then flat out the nose, flat out the tail the last nine inches. So basically, that's kind of what we all looked at and then just felt the board and and I just wanted to make it to where everybody felt like they were getting an honest judging uh, of their board because they really did a great job, every one of them. So let's talk about like two things you, actually I'd say three things, right? You're always going back to your measurements, like you had your notebook with you all the time. Yep. You're always going back to your measurements. You're always going back to ticking the boxes. Tell us about ticking the boxes. Well, a lot of the boards had a lot of things that were right and some things that weren't right. So we would just kind of, what's right on this board and what's not right on this board and this one had more rights than wrong mm -hmm. and that's basically how a couple of them went they were all really pretty close as you know yeah you were, you were there and it, it just it was really i thought it wouldn't be that close to tell you the truth i know all these shapers and i just met valerie what a wow what a great shaper oh she was incredible incredible but in shape offs like this a lot of times I've shaped in five of these events, and in this room with glasses, the, the lights don't deflect. It's, I'm constantly looking for my tools like this to see where they're at. So, right. um, I took that into consideration. A lot of guys uh, are doing more machine shapes now instead of ha uh, hand shaping. Yeah. No matter yeah. how many boards they hand shaped the last 35 years, to get in a room and do this and make it happen, right, it, it right. would be pretty tough. So I didn't think it would be this close, but I'll tell you, I was shocked. Every board, they, every heat kept getting stronger and stronger. I'm just going, wow. The, uh, and it was surprising because, you know, Pat, the array of boards that Pat threw in there, the quiver of boards, you know, the TC Snap, the, the Impala uh, Quad, yep. and then also that big Alan Sarlo Sunset gun, you know? Yep. Every time there was like a different card coming at you that you had no idea what was coming next. And it was, it was really interesting to see, you know, as each one of these boards got like dealt, you know, like a card, you, you had your preconceptions as to who you think might win. Yep. And a lot of times it was an upset. Yeah. No, it, uh, every board was a standalone shocker. Right. The, the first board, the pipeline board with the reverse V, that's a game changer right there because yep. the re reverse V changes the rail on the deck, how it falls off. Mm -hmm. And it just, that was a tough one. And then each and every one of the boards were, had a lot of moving parts. Yeah. And I think, I think everybody, did remarkable. I, I'm glad I wasn't in this one. It was a, there was a lot of good good people shaping. I actually I heard Chris Christensen. You know, like uh, he, he made a comment. He goes on, on the Impala when we had our last Impala judging. He's like, Ben, I'm really glad I'm not a judge. Yeah. You know, because it was really tight. It was. Know, in uh, in ev literally every every single heat. Yep. Every one of them. Every one of them. The neat thing, uh, you know, working. Through this event, you know, working with you and working with Pat was like the different judging styles too. You know, you were you were there like you, what you know, one you really looking at the integrity of the event and the numbers and the and your notes yeah. and you had your tools there and measuring everything. Like I'm looking more at the the sight and the feel, uh, and also looking for the like the most notable parts of each board. Yeah. And uh, you know, and Pat is just. Pat, you know, yeah. he's just like either gut or he's like, you know, feel, you know, feeling it, and he knows it because you know it's his, it's his board. But it was interesting, like how these those different judging styles played off of each other. That's basically I use the way I shape a surfboard of how I judge it. I'm a numbers guy, that all these numbers have got to fit every time on the board because I hand shape, 
So I try to get every board the same every time, every time, every time. And so the number thing to me was really important because you can't change the numbers. If you miss it here and they get it here, you got a winner. Right, right. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Well, hey, we want to thank you. I mean, one, for the time yeah, that you yeah. put into the judging, thank you know, because you, you're, you're here running your, your own booth, you know, for your own board brand, and uh, which is a huge commitment in itself, you know, and then you're running back and forth and putting the time in judging. So thank you for being the head judge oh, of the pleasure. event. I and really, uh, really, and, really and also, that. again, thank you, like, for all the time that you spent with us. You know, no, it's a no. huge learning experience. No, and I uh, a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> There's no I in team. Right. The, uh, but also, uh, thanks again to Scott Bass, to Tim, everybody at the boardroom show. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure being out here at the show. And um, we're already looking forward to next year. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.